we had gone to other shelters, but there's only a certain limit of time that you could be there. And, um, my son, went, uh, he was six months old and he got sick. He, he ended up getting um, like a stomach, some kind of stomach virus that gave him um, diarrhea and vomiting. And he became very severely dehydrated. He had to get um, admitted into UMC. And he was just on the brink of death. Like um, my other, my other kids got sick too, but they're just older, so it it went away on its own. Um, once we tried to go back to the shelters, they they didn't have any room because they were so full. So we ended up sleeping on the street twice. A guy comes up to us and he asks us if we had like any change or any money or anything because he was hungry. And then we told him, well, you know what, we don't have anything because we're in the same situation that you are. And my husband told him, well, um, I have uh, some food stamps. If you're hungry, you know, we could walk over to AMPM and I'll get you something to eat. He was telling us, you know, like, oh, what happened? How are you guys in this? And, you know, we told him that he lost his job in California. And, you know, we used to have a one-bedroom apartment, and we used to pay like $800 out there, and it was very small, and so um, we just decided to move out here to have a fresh start, but, you know, just things didn't work out how we wanted to, like, you know, our plans. So um, once we got to AMPM, um, he bought him like a drink and a bread or something like that, and um, he started telling him about Catholic charities that why haven't we came here and we're like well we don't know what that is like we've never heard of that program or anything he's like oh well yeah it's down on Las Vegas Boulevard and um, they help you sometimes they help you with shelter and they help you with food and we're all like oh like um, do you know how to get there and he's like yeah you guys just got to take the 113 he's all you guys got to go to the to Bonneville Transit and then go to the 113 I'm like, is that far or is it in walking distance? And he was like, no, it's it's far. So we're like, oh, so how are we going to get there with the kids? And um, I, f I had actually found a bus pass on the floor that expired at 3. And he had told us, so we're like, okay, but we don't have a phone or, you know, we don't have anything. How are we going to call to see if like, they'll help us? So we went back up the street to Circus Circus and we went inside the arcade <laughs> and we were looking under the machines for like quarters and it's so amazing because my kids like just got the point like at first they're like what are you doing and we're like well we're looking for quarters and then they'll be like oh mom here I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna play here and you look there for money so they don't tell you anything, so they'll be like going to every machine, Mom, look under here, here, I'll play. <laughs> and like they'll just pretend and it was like, so I, I just wanted to cry, but at the same time, like, I just felt blessed that they understood. And then we found enough quarters and I called and Ellen answered the phone. You know, I told her our situation on the phone she was like well you know I'll I'll try to help you guys you guys just gotta make it here by three and then I told my husband wow like I found a bus pass and it expires at three and but it was only one and you know we have to pay for two fares for him and um we're, he was like well you and the kids go ahead and I'll walk over there and so I went there and we got we got here and he he walked over here from there like I guess I don't know what he did but he was pushing our stroller which had our all our stuff and um, he made it like an hour and a half later and finally like Ellen talked to us and good thing we had all our paperwork with us the first thing that she did um, she got us a shelter at the Best Western for a 30 day stay and um, yeah my husband started crying he doesn't cry but he cried 
at home at the hotel and private. Thankfully, we just, we found you guys and you guys were able to help us. And you know, now my husband has a stable job. We have a stable place to live for our kids. You know, everything's things can be better. Like both me and him come from you know broken homes. You know, backgrounds where things like this don't happen to people. You know. It's just, it's just amazing. Like, there's no words to explain. You know, now, we used to live like a certain way. Now me and my husband see things so different. Being on the street with the kids, like, I was telling them that in the night, you know, in the cold, and we would, like, see police or helicopters, and we used to pray, like, to God, like, make us invisible. Like, we don't want nobody to see us because we don't want nobody to take away our kids. You know, and I used to hug the baby because it was so cold at night. And, like, I would be and my husband just say, like, you know, like, why? Why did we end up like this? Like, how? And it's just so difficult. And now that you know, we have our apartment and everything. Like, all the little things, like, we are just so grateful and we feel so blessed. And, you know, you guys gave us, it was like a new life, a new opportunity. And it's just something that I don't know how to thank you guys. And you guys have no idea how grateful we are.